just got to Vancouver on my way to New York to celebrate Lunar New Year's. I think when this video comes out, it would have been the year of the rabbit already. So happy year of the rabbit, everybody. Anyway, able to stay here for about a day and a half. And with rainy, chilly weather like this, it's gotta be noodles. So after this, gonna Chinatown, stop by this Thai noodle place with some spicy noodles, then go into a really popular Japanese ramen place that started here in Vancouver. This hole in the wall seafood place that serves an assortment of fresh seafood with hand pulled noodles. And before getting to all that, a huge shout out and thank you to the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. This has been my routine every single morning for the last couple of years now, I think. Go for a run or a workout, come back, a scoop or a travel pack of AG1, or vice versa. Sometimes before a workout, if I feel a little low on energy, really simple, put it into my travel mug, eight to 12 ounces of water, shake it up and drink. <sighs> Before I start taking AG1, I used to travel around with about half a dozen bottles of vitamins. My memory's not as good as it used to be, so it was really hard keeping track of what pills I was supposed to take and how many I was supposed to take, and some will run out before others, so I have to order them. Also, vitamins, really expensive. And now all I take is this, because with every travel pack or a scoop of AG1, you get 75 vitamins, minerals, probiotics, whole foods, sourced superfoods. It's just a really convenient way to stay healthy. And when you get your box, you'll get a pouch of AG1 that you can put into this tin can. You'll get travel packs, a travel bottle, and a year's supply of vitamin D. Plus, AG1 always follows the latest research. They go beyond third-party testing to make sure whatever they're giving you, you're getting the highest quality and the best nutritional daily habits on the planet. And with this replacing all my mini bottles of vitamins, it's a great value as well. I told you guys I got my parents hooked on AG1 as well. They've been consistently taking it. They love it. I gave my friends some travel packs to try. Now they're hooked on it. So if you want to give it a try, go to my link down below. You'll get a free year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your water. This is really a game changer when it comes to your immune system. Cause AG1 really does provide your body with everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. All right, let's go get some noodles. Wow, this thing is so hot and flaky, nice and toasty on the outside. Inside, super, super soft. Whew. And it smells so good. Dunk this into the curry. The inside layer just kind of came loose. This is really good. Mm. This curry is amazing. This whole dish. If you ever come here, you have to try this. It actually takes real power. Just stop shoving this in my mouth. First of all, the roti is perfect. Beautifully crispy on the outside. Inside, chewy and soft. Deliciously buttery. The curry is just next level. You know, it's just a perfect combination. And as you start to chew, this dish just gets more buttery, more flavorful. The texture is so perfect. Crunchy, chewy, and everything in between. I already want to get another order of this dish. Oh, so, so good. Next dish, the house soy chicken curry. Look, look at this, there's a whole giant drumstick in here. This curry looks similar to what I was dipping my roti in. On top, pickled vegetables. Below, medium with egg noodles in here. There's some crispy noodles on the server, some sprouts, and look at this. As I'm stirring this aroma from the curry and the broth, it's just hitting me everywhere. And look at this giant, giant drumstick sitting inside this bowl of noodles. I love how nicely the noodles grab onto the broth. Oh, this is gonna be an amazing slurp, I'm sure. Break the crunchy noodles into the bowl. Oh, it smells so good. And as good as it smells, doesn't come close to how good this tastes. First of all, mm. The chicken is just amazing. So tender. All that nice flavor of the curry has soaked into the chicken. Again, a little sweet, little coconutty, nice kick. The sprouts and the crispy noodle brings a nice texture. The egg noodles itself, very al dente, very chewy. And the sprouts and the crispy noodles just brings a nice crunchy texture. This is such a good dish. I'm not exaggerating even one bit. This is such a good dish. And everything about this is just a perfect, just sparks the perfect balance of sweet, savory, crunchy, chewy, meaty. The broth's amazing. I mean, everything is good. 
chicken is good, the noodle is good, but the broth is definitely the essence of this dish. And that is absolutely fantastic. Another bowl I got, kind of a contrast to the bowl I had before, the hot and sour pork noodles. So this is gonna be way different. Cilantro, lime, it's gonna have uh, thin rice noodles you find in a typical bowl. Peanuts, fried onions, some greens, and this is a Vietnamese ham, and fish cakes, and like I said, typical thin rice noodles. I'll try some of this broth first. Whoa. This is definitely way different than the creamy, much richer, much thicker broth from the cow soy. I think I actually might prefer this more because this is definitely what I like. Oh, there's some minced meat on the bottom of this bowl as well. This broth is just magical. Hot and spicy and absolutely packed with meaty flavor. I love things that are spicy. I like it really sour and this definitely hits the spot. Mm. You can actually choose with different types of noodles and these broths. They recommended the rice noodle. Perfect. Perfect. Soaks up the broth really, really well. Whereas the last bowl, the noodles clung to the curry broth really well. Mm. The ham is delicious. Mm. The savoriness and the fattiness of the meat balanced so well by this hot and sour broth. I can't believe I've never been here before. I would say this is a must try place here in Vancouver. Mm. Noodles here are unique. I mean, it's chilly and rainy here most time of year. This is the perfect remedy for that. Mm. That was also nice enough to give me some uh, wing bean salad. Two types of beans. As spicy as sour as peanutty. I recommend get the rachi and curry, get the casserole. You know, actually, bring a friend, get all four and share. Honestly. If I'm here by myself, I can eat all four by myself. Trust me, you'll want to. I've been hearing really good things about this place, Uno Beef Noodle. Unfortunately, not open today. Open tomorrow though, they will be back. But not all is lost. Across the street, there's this ramen shop. Supposedly sells a darn good bowl of chicken ramen. Tamago ramen, sapo, like shoyu, veggie, chashu. It's rainy, it's chilly outside. This is a perfect noodle day. So this place, Maruhachi Ramen. It's one of the original ramen places here in Vancouver. This place serves Python ramen, so it's chicken ramen, and they specialize in rich, creamy chicken broth. So I got a bowl with the spicy version. And on the sides, they have condiments like um, sesame salty sauce and chili. So this thing, cilantro on top, little pickle veggie scallions, really thin slice of chashu. You can see the river of fat coursing between the lean cuts of meat. Very, very thin noodles with specks of chili. You know, I've been eating ramen for a long, long time and like how my body kind of reacts to a bowl of ramen, I can kind of gauge how good it's gonna be. This thing sitting in front of me, I'm smelling it, my mouth is watering. I see the broth sticking to the thin strands of noodles. The really thin, fat-filled chashu and the orange color broth that's thick and rich, but also gives me an indication that it's gonna be spicy. Squeeze of lemon. Also, I got some garlic chips. Just gonna go ahead and toss some all of it in. Oh, that's good. That's so velvety and rich. Mm. I mean, take a sip of that broth and kind of press your tongue to the roof of your mouth. It's almost like there's like this thin sheet of silk pressed on your tongue. Mm. And just like I suspected, rich, flavorful, but with a bite. Wow, this broth is so thick, has no trouble. Spider-Man itself onto the noodles. This is a really good bowl of ramen. The noodles, very chewy, al dente texture is perfect. And every time you slurp, the noodles grab onto so much of that nice broth, which again, rich and deep. We definitely taste that awesome chicken flavor. And the texture of the broth is so creamy, which is not overly rich. I've had some chicken ramen before where it's too chickeny, it's too rich. Yeah, there is such a thing. This, not that case at all. Mm. It was absolutely perfect with that nice little kick and a squeeze of lemon kind of cuts down the richness a little bit and gives it a little bit of a citrusy flavor. Chashu, let me shine a light through this. See that? See the fat in every single slice? Mm. 
That's what's making it melt in your mouth. The chashu itself, unmistakably porky. There's a nice change of flavor in this bowl. This is a very slurp worthy bowl of ramen. I like it a lot, a lot, especially on a cold, rainy day. This is absolutely the antidote. Already my lips are feeling a little gelatinousy from this broth. I just caught some of that pickled vegetable and the crunchy garlic as well. I think the crunchy garlic is a great addition to this bowl. I don't know about the other flavors, but this bowl in particular, highly recommend. All right, this place was a little difficult to find. It's You park inside that plaza over there and you walk through this little, you walk through this little hallway here, shellfish shack. So this place is very much of a hidden gem type of place. It's a little seafood shack. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five tables in here. They serve some amazingly fresh seafood here, I, I think. And I got a sea snail or a periwinkle platter. So a sea snail combination platter with a steamed clam ginger soup. Got a plate of uh, marinated scallops and the snails come with a big side of hand pulled noodles. And this whole snail platter, it's soaked in this chili sauce with jalapenos on top and hand pulled noodles also soaked in this sauce as well. First of all, start with the scallops. It's a scallop salad. Mm. Mm. Spicy sesame. Light soy sauce, one of the ingredients that's marinated in. Mm. This adds so much umami to this dish. Also, the scallops itself, delicate and sweet. I ain't no covering up the sweetness of that scallop. All right, I'm just really excited to get to this. The snail platter with noodles. Splash of lemon juice on the snails. Start off with a small one. This is a periwinkle. And this is something I used to eat a lot at Cantonese restaurants. It's always stir fried, usually cooked in some kind of spicy sauce. And what you do, take a toothpick, poke it in, and just take out the meat. There's always gonna be some juice left over. Suck that out of the shell. Just pop down in your mouth. The key is not to be scared off by the notion that it's a snail. The meat is so snappy and flavorful. You can taste the sauce they cooked it in, which is nice and spicy. Mm. Moving on to the bigger one. Mm. This is what they call areola escargot. And this thing, much bigger piece of meat. And of course, the shell's gonna have even more juice, again. Suck that up, pop it in. It's snappy, very mild. It's gonna take on a lot of the flavor of the sauce, which is delicious. And this is, of course, the best one. The largest one is a conch. This is the one that people are probably most familiar with. Oh, look at that. The biggest piece of meat. It's inside the shell. In this part, some people take this off. I would not. This is probably the tastiest part of the conch. This is the hepato pancreas, and it is delicious. So the meat here is more snappy. The meat here is gonna be more soft, but it has more flavor. Mm. Honey, bit sandy, but that meat is so sweet and good. Take another piece out. Dunk it into the sauce. Take that shot. Put this in your mouth. And what I'm most excited about is mixing the noodles in this delicious shellfish sauce. Mm. Wow. I love the different sea snails, and I can't wait to dig into more of them, but this noodle is so good. Chase that with a sea snail. That's a legendary combination of flavors. It's seafoody, it's spicy, it's savory, it's a little sweet, and just so much freaking flavor. I ordered a couple more things. One is the, um, this is the octopus carpaccio. Look at that. Oh. I already know this is gonna be so tender. Ooh. This is so good. It's fresh, it's snappy, it's citrusy. There's definitely some soy sauce flavors in here, which brings tons of depth. The octopus itself is sliced really thin and it brings its own sweetness. Wow. 
love the heck out of that. Local oyster as well. Look at that. Mm. That kind of sweet, kind of briny. Not bad. Couple more things. I just saw this on the menu. Had to get it. Uni soba. Last time I was in Vancouver, tried some of the uni here. Loved it. Mm. First of all, soba, refreshingly delicious. Nice and chewy. Just a simple splash of vinegar and oil. I'm trying to get through all the dishes. I don't want to let it sit here that, that long before some of this gets cold, but I wanted to try this too. Fresh clam soup. Whenever I see this on a menu anywhere, I always get it. This is a very simple way to cook clams. Just a bit of ginger, and the clams are cooked in its own juice. And this, if you make soup out of it, you get something that's so xian so fresh the ginger kills any of the fishiness and it's just a very light very calming satisfying bowl of clam soup and the first time i ever went clamming it was in Qingdao in china we got a bunch of clams on the beach came home and my uncle made soup just like this since then it's been my favorite way to eat clams this is such a great little seafood place. The seafood they serve, you can ask them how fresh it is. Like I came in, they assured me everything I ordered is as fresh as can be. And you can definitely taste that. Highly recommend the combinations of the sea snail platter with the noodles, the octopus capaccio out of this world. Scallops good, clam soup is delicious. This is a fantastic way to wrap up this Vancouver food day. Wow, Vancouver at nine o'clock in the morning. Well, that's exactly like evening time. <sighs> nice weather for a run though. Seriously. Lansdowne Center. I think one of the first places I ever ate at in Vancouver is here. This place, one of the best soup dumping places you'll find anywhere. R and H Chinese food. This place has been around for a while. First soup dumplings I had in Vancouver was here so i got a jaja man never had this before here for means of bean noodles and everything here is made fresh their noodles their dumplings everything handmade they're serving everything into gold containers still beautiful beautiful dumpling chuck full full of broth give it a little nibble mm. Look how much soup is in these little dumplings. Their skin is so thin. Nice big chunk of pork inside. And like I said, tons of soup in these dumplings. Everything about that from flavor to soupiness to filling and dough ratio, perfect. I mentioned this before, it's really hard to find a place that serves a good bowl of Jia Jia Mian. There's a lot of Korean versions that are pretty good, but not a lot of Chinese versions. All right, that's not bad. I think it's a little too sweet for my taste. But noodles good, flavor is good. It's a decent bowl, Jia Jia. And the Hong Yo Chao Shou, hot oil wontons. A little soupier than I remember. These are just okay. Got a really good bite to these wontons. The wonton is definitely way more wrapper than filling. The filling is really small. Flavor is good. Personally, though, not a huge fan of the wontons. There's no, no mistake about it. One of the best soup dumplings. Probably the best soup dumpling here in Vancouver. Definitely one of the best in all of North America. Come here and grab some of that. All right, I only have time now uh, to go one more place. There's a place I've been trying to go to for a while now after I finish eating this. This place, Uno's Beef Noodle Soup. They just opened about three minutes ago and it's already 90% full. And this is apparently the best beef noodle soup in all Vancouver. So I got a soupy noodle and a dry noodle. So the soupy noodle I got is um, half tendon, half beef, mala. So numbing, spicy with tendon and beef. Veggies, scallions, cilantro, oh my gosh. It is 
so tender, but chopstick is just cutting through this thing. So chunks of tender mixed with some lean beef, the lean beef, I just squeezed it barely with my chopsticks. This thing broke in two. And I chose homemade white noodles. Uh, for my noodle, you could choose between the thin ones or medium. I chose the wide. Wow, this is so good. This is a bowl of happy place right here. Wow. Amazing. This is one of the best bowls of beef noodle soup I've had anywhere in a long, long time. This is better than anything you can find in New York, for sure. Wow. A lot of times the flavor is not adequate. This is just a flavor tsunami. <laughs> Mm. The noodles are perfect, like, perfectly al dente, beautifully chewy. Mm. The veg creates a nice crunch. This place is all tender right here. Oh. That was just a piece of melting your mouth, just Latin see happiness. This is a leaner piece. Mm. That's so soft. This place is a must try if you're ever in Vancouver. Some of the best noodle soup I've had anywhere in the world is here. If I lived in Vancouver, I'd be here pretty much every single day. I mean, this is part of my daily diet. It's way too good. The broth, I don't know what kind of wizardry they're using back in the kitchen, but it's unbelievably good. Also, I got a dry version, so this is the Lao Hu Mian. It's basically like a spicy sesame dry bowl of noodles with sprouts, scallions, minced meat. I got the same thicker noodle. I love thicker noodles because I love that texture, I love the chew. Also, I got my way. So, this is a marinated platter. So, I got beef tendon and I got pig ear. Pig ear is delicious. Delightfully crunchy. The flavor really nicely. Beef tendon. Mm. Dip down a little bit in the vinegar. Chase it with your noodles. This is really good. It basically tastes like a very sesame y bowl of thunder noodles. This is a very heavy bowl. Very rich, very chewy noodles. It's a very delicious, very substantial, very heavy bowl of noodles. One more dish that I got. This is hot and sour soup with uh, dumplings inside. So this is, looks like kind of a traditional hot and sour soup. I was kind of expecting a Suan Tang Shui Zhao, which is the sour spicy dumpling soup that I usually like. This one, yeah, hot and sour soup. Very traditional tasting hot and sour soup with dumplings inside. It definitely tastes a lot of vegetables in the dumpling, like of tofu, seaweed, carrots. If you like a traditional bowl of hot and sour soup and you like dumplings, this is a good dish. After you taste the beef noodle soup though, I'm not gonna want to get anything else besides that. Now I wish I had like three bowls of that instead of dry noodles and this. This is just okay. I think the dumplings are alright. Not my favorite dumplings. Ring of favorites. Definitely beef noodle soup, dry noodles, and then this. <sighs> wow. What a gem of a place you guys got here in Vancouver. Oh, they had the uh, the, the salted buns, the ones that I, I fell in love with in Korea. But when I walked in, they told me the person right before me bought all of them. So that's a shame. But I did get a masago croissant. Wow, like a seafood croissant with fish eggs and crab inside. Not bad. Also, I got a strawberry croissant. Mm. Oh, they are really good at what they do here. This croissant tastes as beautiful as it looks. Wow. Mm. Buttery, flaky, strawberry. This is such a good bakery. 
Mike will definitely be back for the salted bunch. All right, on my way to New York now. This was a really nice stop here in Vancouver. Got some amazing seafood, some amazing noodles, awesome pastries. As always, I'll place that winter list down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.